You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to check out the Reese's Mini Pieces Cookie Kit for Halloween. One of the few items that I was actually finding on shelves that's new this year. So much is uh, repeats from last year. This I've never made, though. And uh, what I wanted to show you, though, I'm in the mini kitchen, by the way, as you can see. Here's the size of the boxes that I use in the mini kitchen that go in the background. And there's the size of a real box. So you could see the size difference. All right, I just wanted to show you that here. Let's go back to the other video booth and check out the kit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is make this kit, but I will be making it in the mini kitchen because it did say mini pieces. So I have to scale it down to something that'll work in the mini kitchen. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do right now. Let's see, kit includes mini Reese's Pieces candies, chocolate frosting, and a peanut butter cookie mix. Makes 12 cookies. Now, if I'm gonna make those 12 cookies in the mini kitchen, it probably would make 40 mini cookies, but we'll see. Let me turn the kit around. Like I said, there was really not much out in the stores this year, a lot of repeats. All right, so what I will need is two tablespoons vegetable oil and one tablespoon water. Now that's not much, so if I cut that in half, uh, actually let me cut that in quarters, but let me get this out of the box before I do any change to the mix so that we can do it and mix it in the mini kitchen. That's exciting, isn't it? Something different? All right, so. Yeah, it doesn't take much liquid, so I should be able to easily cut this mix down. All right, so there is, that appears to be the chocolate. Here's the mini pieces, which I thought would be perfect in the mini kitchen. And then here is the peanut butter mix. So what I'll do is I'll get a scale. We'll scale this all down. Oh, and there's two bags of mini pieces. All right, so let's cut this uh, in fours, and then uh, we'll do that next. I'm going to leave the frosting because there's no reason to cut that down, but I'll move it to a new container, a new little uh, piping bag. All right, so let's cut this down. Let me grab a scale, and we'll break this down. All right, so let's put a bowl on here and zero this out just so that we can see how much mix is actually here. So this is how I would actually work on uh, the mini kitchen when I was doing recipes. I'd have to cut everything, scale it back to fit, and probably this is the bowl that I've used in the mini kitchen. So it's about the size I need, but there's way more mix in here. So we know that it's uh, 7.4 ounces. So let's just take out four ounces. I mean, that's really an odd amount. So let's just get this down to three ounces without dropping as much as I just did. I mean, baking, let me get this, at least this stuff on the table, a little bit on the scale. So we're at six. Five. Four. Oh, let's leave it there, actually. So, we, hey, let's just leave it there. That's about half. It's close enough, but it fits nicely in my bowl. So that's the amount I'm going to use. Let me zero this out again. We're actually done with this, so let's move this out of the way. So now I need to figure out the liquid. We've cut it about in half, just a little bit uh, less. I'll have to do the math after this, but we're close. This is kind of how I needed to do it, so let me get my liquids ready. All right, so I double-checked here because I was reversing the math, got a little confused. We needed to be to do half of the recipe, about three-something, and I would say we're pretty spot-on. It might take a chunk or two out to make it absolutely perfect, but we're close. Now, the oil, that was two tablespoons, so I think just one tablespoon. So this is what I would normally use for the mini kitchen, a vegetable oil. So let me get that in the measuring spoon. Here we go. And I put that in there. Okay, so I know that's the amount I need for that. And then 
It was one tablespoon of water. I had to do the math on that, so that's one and a half teaspoons. So now I can actually take this into the mini kitchen. I'll get these in another little bowl. I'll move this to a piping bag so you can see all that. And now uh, we'll start making our Reese's Pieces cookies. All right, so we have it pretty close. Uh, and then uh, here's the oil. So we got that. We know that's the right amount. I need one and a half teaspoons out of that. And then I have my little case for the uh, chocolate. And then my bowl for the little mini pieces. Let's get those in there. Okay, let's move that over here. And now the chocolate. I was gonna transfer it to that, which is a much smaller bag, obviously, because we have the mini kitchen. Now, you're supposed to warm it up in your hands and squish it. So I'm just gonna do it this way. Get about half the bag in there. Okay, so that's ready to go. Let's get that. <laughs> Tasty looking morsel there. All right, and then uh, now let's do the mixing. How about we move this to the other side of the kitchen for now? So as I'm mixing, I don't hit anything. Let's get this over here. Actually, let's do it right there. Okay, so that, and then let me get my water scaled out. So one and a half. One. Remember, it's got to be a dough, so a half. And then a tablespoon of Earl. Okay. Let's mix that up. It did have a nice peanut butter smell so that's a good thing I move my little cutting board out of the way oh, so it looks like it's forming a dough Now the good thing about having more liquid is that I can, I mean more dry powder good, is if I added too much liquid based on my descaling, it seems like anytime you change a recipe, it never acts exactly the way you want it. Okay, I think I got a lot of the chunks out. mixing here and let me give you a little better angle okay I moved them a little bit closer to me I think I want to add just a little bit more powder it is let me just see okay so it's not sticking to my fingers maybe I can shape it into a little ball yeah I probably could maybe just like a tablespoon of the dry goods It's good, but I want it just a little bit drier. Okay, all right. I think that's better now. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to shape these on the cookie tray. Okay, 12 little cookie shapes. Now, it said one inch, so I'm gonna make these about a half an inch right because they are miniature of a much larger mix so I'm gonna get one two six on this sheet now I have the oven going so we're good to go there well that one's a little bit bigger let's make this one a skosh bigger huh now, it's an ungreased cookie sheet. So this first batch will really be the tester of how well this bakes. 
if they spread, we will find out. The reason it's on grease probably is because there's so much oil in it, right? And then I said, press them with a fork to give you that crisscross pattern, which really doesn't matter, I guess, because you're going to put toppings on them, right? You're going to cover them up anyway, but let's just do it. Let's see how much they spread. All right, it's oven time. All right, we know how hot this oven gets, so I'm going to just do a couple minutes on each side. And then I will, uh, well, I'll record the whole thing for you. Maybe you can watch it. So two minutes, and then I'll turn it around. The timer is about to go off. Ooh, they baked and flattened out pretty good. So let me just turn this around. Look at that. So it's uh, actually came out to be a nice size. A little too much light on the cookies. I'm thinking that uh, I brought a spacer in. This second batch or second round. Let me take it off the bottom there and do that. They smell good. All right, so let's just do another two minutes. I have 10 seconds. Timer's going to go off. Hmm, they look good on the bottom. Oh, let me stop that. Okay. Actually, let's see. They look pretty good. Let me give you a better top down. They're definitely brown on the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is let this batch cool down. The next one's... I might do a little different. Let's see. I'll be back when these are ready to move to my presentation tray. Okay, I thought, well, let me test another tray here and see if one of the older trays is better. I'll only make three cookies on this next batch and we'll see. You know, that's what uh, testing in the mini kitchen, I guess, is all about. And then I grabbed an even bigger spacer to see if I'll show you because the back cookie didn't uh, didn't bake as good as the front cookies. I thought it was the other way around. Maybe when I flipped them, that was the problem. All right, my little fork. Where did you go, little fork? Over there. All right, I'm gonna test another tray. These are cool. This one cookie did not bake as good as the other cookies. So I'm gonna leave these for now. And I wanted to just try another tray and see if maybe that will help. Let's see. And then I increase the spacer size so that I have a little more distance from the bottom of the oven. Yeah, I can only get three on this one. I'll just use up all the dough, so I'll keep baking. I may not get everything on video for you, but, you know, give you a couple of the little exciting parts. All right, let's get this one in. I'll tell you what, let me get those other ones off the tray. I'll move this one over to the oven side. I'll move this one in. My tray in here. My spatula. Gonna have to kinda... They're crispy. Okay, it's a nice brown. Maybe I want a little less brown. But I can definitely decorate these. Ooh, now those, see? Look at that. A little too brown. We're learning. And then these two here. All right, let me move over and put those other ones 
I'll wash this and put the other ones in the oven. Okay, so an even bigger spacer from the bottom. This way I can get more convection around the oven. All right, there we go. And then let's see if you can even see those now because I've raised it up so much. Oh yeah, let me zoom. I might have to zoom in just a little bit more there. All right, let me give these two minutes on each side and then I will come back. By then, actually, you know what? I'll just go get the other ones ready in the tray. Okay, so these are looking to be baking a little slower, which is just what I need. We're at about a minute and a half. So I am going to now close that up. I think from here, it's gonna be difficult to kind of show you. I have to do a lot of weird camera changes and lighting changes. This might be the last one I show you baking. Okay, so now we have tested a little thicker tray. Ooh, look how beautiful those look, see that? All right, so I think these are really close. I am just gonna let these finish up, and then when I come back, I'll move these out. They look a lot prettier than the other ones, don't they? And then I'll retray some more on the original tray and see if it's really all about that spacer. All right, I'll be back. All right, looks like I can make some more here, huh? One. If they're gonna hold their shape like that, I should definitely be able to get six on here. You know what? I can't make many that many more. I've actually probably made half the box. If you take the cookies I made, 12 is really six of the size they were supposed to be. I can make a few more. The more I have, the more I have to mess with in the samples, right? Okay, half the time, let's give these a little flip a -roo. And thinking about it now, it's definitely easier to get it out of the oven when you have this little lip there. Look at that. So definitely, I would say, much better with that spacer in there. Okay. This is the last set I will show you baking. Enjoy the rest of the baking process. say a little bit more but look at the ones in the back they've gotten a little flatter than the ones in the front I'm gonna turn them around one more time I'm gonna give these a little bit more so I'm almost oh I diffed one but go back together there you go no one will ever notice okay 
I'll tell you what, let's head over to the other side of the kitchen while those finish up. Okay, so the last tray, or actually I did one big cookies in the oven. These I'm just gonna call the samplers. They don't look as nice as the updated ones that are beautiful. So let me decorate three for now while those other ones are still in the oven and cooling down. I have two batches, one in the oven and one cooling down. Ooh, separate. Oh, okay, that one shot across. All right, so now, it says take a bag, right, with the chocolate in it, which I have here. Squish it down to a corner. Decorate your cookie and put your Reese's Pieces on top. Let's just cut off that little tip. Keep you in focus. All right, here we go. Let's see, that doesn't matter exactly what the top looked like, does it? Because now you're doing this. Ooh, that's a lot. We'll leave it like that, and then I'm going to smush it down with my little spatula. I'm going to have to hold the cookie. Let me do it this way. Ooh. I forgot. Still one in the oven. Let me let that one finish. That looks better, doesn't it? Okay. Smooth. Ooh, this one's got a lot. We'll just squish it. Squish it around. Okay, let's get some Reese's pieces on those. They look good. I must admit, and it's hard not to lick your finger as you do this. I thought, well, let me make one in a, like a little pumpkin. Mm, give him a little ice. This guy here. <laughs> He's got pumpkin eyes. I won't give him a yellow nose. And we'll let that, well then we'll push it down on that one. Then we'll give him a little pumpkin mouth. There you go. Ooh, a stray one. Okay, so there is a happy face. Because the box really just shows them all over the top. So let's do some of that. Let's just kind of drop some around. They look like the brown ones have changed color slightly. Okay. Ooh. Get over here. Ooh, I think I want to try that one. It's got the most on it. All right, there's three for now. Let me grab some more here. I just had to show you the top of this one big cookie that I made with the leftovers. Look how it's just bubbling on top. That is so cool. Maybe I'll just leave that for a minute. Okay, how do you think these turned out? This is the batch on the original tray. Oh, look, it's a sheet, a sheet of cookies. That might be easier actually to break them apart now. Let's see. Well, let's look at the bottoms. Okay, I would say for peanut butter cookies, oh, wasn't that cool, that last one that was baking? Let's just see, let me grab it and bring it into the camera. That's what it looks like now, that one big giant cookie. I'm gonna leave that one. Okay, that's all done. Let's finish breaking these apart. You know, I don't mind my peanut butter cookies a little crispy. Okay, all right. All right, let me pick the best three. Size-wise, that one. Probably that one. And let's do this one. 
Let's get the frosting on there like I did last time and uh, it's easier just to spread it with the spreader. Decorate these and then I'll of course come back and give them a taste. Cookie one. A little light on the chocolate there. I just made the big cookie so that I can let everybody try one in the family. All right now, the last three. The box said about 12 per cookie. Ooh, I don't like the way you look there. That was for the one inch cookies. They probably spread to about an inch. All right. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, there you go. Let me come back now. I'll clean up a little. Ooh, man, that's like the third time I've done that to you. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. I took the best three, which were those. And then uh, I figured, well, let's give those a little try. Here we go. Nice little coffee. Still warm. And my peanut butter cookies. All right. I'm going to try this one here because it probably has the most on it. So let's give this a taste. Mmm. It's nice actually tasting something fresh and new. Let me cleanse my palate. I think I want another taste. Ah, Alright, I'll take another bite. Alright, so there you go. It was a little different video. I took you from how I scale some things down. Convert them for the mini kitchen. And then now, taste them. All the way to the tasting table. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, Pick it up!